Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Well, the British pound is falling again today. Uh, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney uh, gave a two-hour press conference in which he was outlining his plans to stabilize the British economy following the vote to leave the EU. And as he was speaking, the uh, pound continued to drop as much as about 1.3%. It's now down to about $1.31. It also slid against the uh, euro, hitting about uh, 84.93 pence. Uh, Carney indicated that the Bank of England is cutting its capital requirements for British lenders, and he pledged to implement any other measures as needed. Uh, Carney said that the central bank's post-Brexit plan is working, but warned that officials can't fully offset the volatility triggered by the referendum result. As soon as he did finish speaking, the pound did continue to drop. There was also a survey released by Bloomberg News indicating that some 75% of economists surveyed expect the UK to slide into recession. Reports this week have shown that UK construction unexpectedly shrank at the fastest pace since 2009 in June, while the growth in the services sector also dropped. Meanwhile, the EU Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker has accused British uh, exit campaigners Boris Johnson and Nigel Farage of quitting when things got difficult. Uh, Boris Johnson had been widely expected to succeed David Cameron as Prime Minister. He announced he was not going to uh, seek the uh, office. And also this morning, Nigel Farage announced that he was quitting as head of his party. According to uh, Juncker, the Brexit heroes of yesterday are now the sad Brexit heroes of today. He said, patriots don't resign. When things get difficult, they stay. Um, Farage resigned uh, actually yesterday, saying he wanted his life back. And he had fulfilled his political ambition by putting the UK on a path to exit the EU. Meanwhile, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Root told the European Parliament that the Brexit vote was very unfortunate. He said, Britain now has collapsed politically, economically, monetarily, and constitutionally, and Britain will have years ahead of it to get out of its mess. Meanwhile, in reinsurance, the big broker Willis Ree said that the uh, July 1 renewals has seen a continuation in premium rate softening. Although it's been a bit of a slowdown in the magnitude of rate reductions, However, any indication of a widespread pricing stabilization is not yet seen. John Cavanaugh, the global CEO, said, so far in 2016, only one major catastrophe loss, the Fort McMurray fires, will produce any meaningful cat claims from reinsurers. So with the absence of any material impact from cat loss activity, rating pressure continues. The drive to achieve market efficiencies and cost reduction has now picked up, Kavanaugh observes, uh, in light of uh, decreased premiums and uh, low interest rates. Companies are now seeking to cut expenses wherever they can. He said the UK's decision to leave the EU provides an additional dynamic with the exact implications for policy and regulation in the future unknown. Here's an interesting story which shows just how much confidence the Israeli airline El Al has in its security measures. El Al 747 uh, took off uh, yesterday from Kennedy Airport, bound for uh, uh, Israel. Uh, after reaching airspace over Europe, a bomb threat was phoned in. Rather than divert to uh, any number of airfields in Europe, the plane continued to Tel Aviv. It was escorted by fighter jets from France over French airspace and then was picked up by Swiss fighter jets as it traveled over Switzerland. The Austrians uh, were monitoring it, although it's not known whether Austrian fighter jets scrambled. The plane landed safely in Tel Aviv. A cleanup operation is underway in Cuba after a series of powerful water spouts slammed into the country's south coast, injuring dozens of people and destroying numerous homes. Water, water spouts excuse me, or tornadoes which move over water, uh, they can sometimes be powerful and cause significant damage if they come on shore. The water spout slammed into the coast, the southern coast, hitting the town of Playa Camito. Some 14 homes were destroyed and 40 people injured. Hurricane Blas has formed in the eastern Pacific, becoming the first hurricane of the season. 
It's now a Category 1 storm. It's about 800 miles southwest of Baja, California. It has 100 mile per hour winds. It uh, is expected to become a major hurricane, a Category 3 storm by tomorrow. It's expected to uh, meander out to the Central Pacific and not strike any land. Twelve people were killed in Mexico yesterday when a bus overturned. Um, this occurred near the uh, tourist resort of Cancun. It was in an uh, area near the uh, Carrillo Puerto municipality. Uh, the fatalities were all Mexican people. Some 50 people on board the bus were all Mexicans. The driver has not been located and he uh, is presumed to have fled. Meanwhile, uh, yesterday there was jubilation at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory as a uh, satellite launched by NASA, the American Space Agency, some five years ago, um, has managed to achieve an orbit around the uh, planet Jupiter. After a 35-minute braking maneuver, uh, the uh, small satellite began a 53-day orbit around Europe. In other words, it takes uh, around Jupiter. In other words, it takes some 53 days for the satellite to uh, circle the giant planet. Jupiter has remained a particularly challenging uh, destination for space exploration because of its high radioactivity. Uh, but the probe is built like a tank with titanium shielding. Uh, estimates from uh, scientists say that uh, during the orbital insertion alone, the uh, small probe may have been subject to a dose of radiation equivalent to about one million dental x-rays. At some point in the fall, NASA expects to uh, tighten the Jupiter orbit down to about 14 days to allow for closer inspection of the planet. Jupiter is some uh, 5.8 uh, billion miles away from Earth. That's, uh, that's quite a distance. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.